Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to mod Modern Warfare 2 on your 360. Now it kind of goes without saying that you're going to need a JTAG for this, so no stupid questions please. And I'm kidding. But um, let's start off by heading to our game library and starting up XEX menu. We'll hit the uh, right bumper button to head into our menu, and then press the Y button and head over to create. We'll make a new folder for our game. We'll name the folder MW2 like so. So uh, now we've got our folder down here but it already has everything in it. We'll just ignore all those files for now. I've done this in advance for you. I'll hit the Y button and head down to copy DVD. Your DVD drive will open of its own accord and um, you'll insert your disk and then manually close it. I mean like push it closed, not use the eject button. And uh, wait for the disk to spin up. Uh, once you hear it hit uh, around max speed, click confirm. Your disk will then copy. Now we can head back to the uh, PC or Mac and finish things off from there. Now this part of the tutorial is exceptionally easy in my opinion, although the whole thing is kind of easy. Um, you're going to need four files. You will need default underscore mp dot xex, which is a pre-updated version of title update 5. You will need a title update 5 cache file. You will need the code post graphics file. And you will need the patch mp file. Those last two I can't provide links to unfortunately, you'll have to go find those yourselves. Although I highly recommend you do a quick search on uh, Stephen Sin's forums, you'll definitely find them there. Um, as for default MP and the title update, I will link you to both of those in the description. So let's just go and uh, grab these files right here and drag them over to a USB drive. Not forgetting patch MP. And now we can head back to our 360, connect the USB flash drive, and uh, mod Modern Warfare 2. But before I do this, there is one thing I need to bring up here. Um, patch MP. You can edit this file and add in whichever mod you would like. Uh, you need an application called um, FF Editor. Now, I'm obviously not going to go through that particular modification right here, as it would take a considerable amount of time. But there is a wealth of information and tutorials on Seven Sins which will certainly assist you in this endeavor. So please don't nag me about how to do this, okay? You can find tutorials virtually everywhere for this. And it really is not that difficult to do. Although if your aim is just to play around with a few mods, I'm sure you'll be able to find plenty of patch MPs with various mods which you would probably enjoy playing with um, around on various forums. One further thing which I must throw in there. If you use this online and you get banned, and believe me, you will get banned, I cannot offer you any kind of support. You're entirely on your own. As far as I'm concerned, this is a useful method of playing mods offline. So when you get that big old this console has been banned for terms of use violation screen, please don't come crying to me. Anyway, now that's out of the way, let's head over to the 360. Back in XEX menu, we'll hit the RB button. And then um, we'll press the X button, connect the USB flash drive, choose USB 0 and press the A button. Then we'll scroll down to the file we want to copy, which in this case is going to be the title update file which needs to go into our cache folder. And there it is. So press the Y button while you're highlighting the file, uh, go to copy, choose that, uh, press the X button, then head to hard drive 1. And we'll go to our cache folder right there. Press the Y button once more, go down to paste, choose that. And press the X button again, USB 0. Code post, copy, once more. Hard drive 1. This time Modern Warfare 2 folder, paste it in there. Confirm if it asks if you want to overwrite. Then we'll head back to USB drive and this time we are going to copy the next file which is going to be patch mp. Copy that, head back to hard drive 1 and we'll paste it in there. Once again press X, choose USB 0 and now we're going to go and copy default mp. Copy that, back to hard drive 1 then paste it in there, confirm, and now we've replaced all the required files. 
find and run default MP, wait for the game to load, there we go, um, you have now completed your modding. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.